Hey, y'all. Okay, I know a lot of y'all are familiar with the TV show, My 600 Pound Life. Well, one of the stars on there, L.B. Bonner, was found dead in a ditch with a gunshot wound. Okay, they have actually maybe, you know, suspected that it's a suicide. They have not just come out and said it's suicide yet. This is sad. It's really sad because this man went um, on the show. Now, however, I don't, I haven't watched that show in a while, so I'm not really sure if I've seen this guy on there or not. But I do know, like, most of the people go on there to lose weight. You know, it's basically like a cry for help. Um, you know, and they need treatment or whatever. But then, like, there's some people on there. Like, I mean, I did see one where the woman just, she wanted to continue to gain weight. She wanted to see how big she could get. Well, this guy right here, he had actually succeeded in losing a lot of weight. He lost over 300 pounds. Okay, I'll read this article to y'all. <clears throat> says, L.B. Bonner, who appeared on My 600 Pound Life and ultimately dropped over 300 pounds, was found dead in a ditch with a gunshot wound. Police were making a welfare check Thursday night when they found him in a park on Lexington, in Lexington, South Carolina. This according to a police report obtained by TMZ. The circumstances surrounding his death are now under investigation. LB appeared in last season's My 600 Pound Life that documented his incredible weight loss journey. He started at 642 pounds and trimmed off a whopping 316 pounds but kept shedding the weight even after filming the show. Now, see, that is absolutely wonderful. I mean, he, he was a success story, you know, but the thing that a lot of people don't realize um, is that a drastic weight loss or a drastic weight gain can actually, it can actually cause, um, you know, mental mental issues, uh, such as like depression, you know, anxiety, um, you know, a lot of different disorders. Um, and I don't know exactly why, you know, I don't know if it's like hormone changes, you know, things of that nature, but a lot of times it, it does something, especially if it's a quick weight loss or a quick weight gain, it can cause, um, some issues you know i'm not exactly sure what was going on with him or if it was even a suicide um but i did just want to let y'all know that in case it is okay it says lb has posted a cryptic message thursday night on facebook saying i just want to say thank you to everyone who has shown me love and support throughout my journey i've realized a few things over the last few days and it's time that i face my demons head on He went on to say, no matter what you change or the efforts you put forth in life, sometimes you just have to take it on the chin and deal with things your own way. Again, thank y'all so much. Please don't ever let people you care about not know how you feel. Cops have not officially yet ruled Bonner's death a suicide, but tell us they're not looking for any other persons of interest in the case. LB was 30. That is so sad. You know, it's, it's sad because I'm sure that this man has, you know, led, you know, maybe a, a lot of years, you know, going through depression, um, you know, with his weight and things of that nature. And the reason I say that is because if he came on this show to lose weight, you know, and ask him for help, then... There was obviously a time period that got him to that point, you know, and I'm sure that somewhere throughout that time, there was some sort of depression. Well, weighing in at double the size of an upright piano, that was the lowest and heaviest point for a Lexington man. But his weight is what caught the eye of a TV show that you've probably heard of, and it kickstarted his journey back from the brink.
Come on, let's get this done, man. Let's get this done. Give me what you got. Leg pressing 400 pounds is no problem for LB Bonner. Six, seven. Safe to say, everything about him Come on. is big. So am I. So am I. But believe it or not, seeing him today, you only get half the picture. I was adopted as a newborn because after having three girls, my parents decided to adopt a boy, and so they got me. LB struggled with his weight even as a child, weighing 150 pounds by the time he was eight years old. I felt like I was a letdown from what they wanted me to have son. Since I was the only boy in our whole family, I was the one that was going to continue the Bonner name. It's a cruel irony that he got so big by losing so much. I ended up walking away from sports in general, and uh, that, really, that really did a number on me. But as I was gaining weight in my early 20s, one of the days that I regret the most happened. He tore his ACL and dropped out of high school. He began drinking heavily. And then in 2013, he got on an ATV that he was too heavy to ride. He eventually lost his leg. Losing a leg was one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through. But he hit rock bottom in 2016 when his best friend suddenly passed away. Whenever I got the phone call that Bunky had passed, all I can remember is just a really dull, numb feeling. And all I wanted to do was drive. But the beauty of rock bottom is that it's solid ground. I was watching the show My 600 Pound Life on TLC. And I saw a guy's episode named Doug Armstrong. I saw a lot of myself in him. TLC latched onto his story. LB went to Texas where he had gastric sleeve surgery and filmed his episode of My 600 Pound Life, which aired last month. So it's changed my relationship with myself, my relationship with my family, friends. Breathe out. Yeah, I've seen this guy at the lowest of his low. Uh, he, uh, he's made a believer out of not only me and a lot of people. We can't tell you how much yep. weight LB has dropped so far because he's still in the works with TLC. But it's safe to say he's shedding much more than pounds. Keep on keeping on. Um, baby steps lead to huge results. And for a guy who's done everything big and the massive odds he's overcome with a new leg and a new outlook. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, ain't it? You get the feeling those huge results. Come on, there you go. Are all but guaranteed. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. L.B. Bond. <laughs> nice. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I love that. So L.B. goes back to Texas. He does some follow-up work with TLC. He's got a couple more pounds to lose, and then he's going to get his skin surgery after that, which he says uh, it's just going to be life-altering. Yeah, just a just a powerful guy. You can yeah. Tell a powerful story. You know, he says that this is just one way for him to spread this message that, you know, anybody can do this. You can get on a weight loss journey, whatever kind of journey you're on. Um, and you can accomplish that. So that is his message. Cool. Yeah. That is so sad. So sad, you know, because this man had just really started, a, you know, his new life. You know, a whole different life than what he had really ever known. You know, a healthy life, caring about himself, you know, and feeling accepted. But there was somewhere within him where he did not. You know, where he obviously didn't feel that. And and it's, it's really sad, you know, to see someone try so hard to succeed in something and want something so bad. And then they succeed and then lose their life so suddenly. You know, my prayers are with the family and friends, um, you know, or even with fans or whatever of this man, you know, it's just, it's sad, it's heartbreaking, and my thoughts are, and prayers are with the family, but if y'all need to send me anything, y'all can feel free to do so in my email, or you can add me on Facebook and send whatever you like through there, the links are down below, and if y'all have not subscribed to my other channel, please do so now, the link is down below, uh, Click on the link, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Until the next time I talk to y'all, y'all have a wonderful night, and I love y'all.